Welcome to Bat Ranch. I'm Dr. Matt, and this pup is named Annie. She is an English bulldog, and you can see her skin is real nasty. She's missing all the hair on her back end, and she has so many folds. Bulldogs have a lot of folds. She has way more folds than a normal bulldog has. Um, she was scheduled to be euthanized. Someone went and pulled her from um, animal control so that that would not happen, and they brought her to us to see if we could fix her up. So we are going to keep her here, and basically first we're going to bathe her, um, and we're going to skin scrape her. Well, before we bathe her, we're going to skin scrape her. We're going to check make sure that this is not anything contagious. It's likely just bulldog with allergies because that's that happens a lot in bulldogs they have really really itchy skin so um, we will check her for parasites first and if we don't find anything we'll just bathe her start on antibiotics because she definitely has an infection she smells terrible right now her other issue she has a cherry eye which is where the uh, gland in that eye is popping out there you can see so we're gonna fix that and she also has heartworms we're not gonna do anything with heartworms right now because I need her to be a little healthier before we treat for heartworms so we're gonna just work on the skin first and we'll get to the heartworm later. We just got her under anesthesia. I skin scraped her and did not see any parasites. So now I'm just gonna check for ringworm. Shine a black light on them and if they glow green, they have ringworm, which I don't see any glowing and we weren't expecting any glowing. We weren't expecting anything on the skin scrape. We're just making sure we're not gonna miss anything. So I would guess when they first got her, she was probably covered in fleas and uh, had allergic reaction problem, you can turn the light back on. So now we're gonna go fix that cherry eye. You can see there's a little pus down there beside it too. I'm gonna to show you guys a new treatment we do on these eye surgeries. Are you ready for this? Man, that worked great. We're gonna go give her a bath now while she's waking up. Giving her a medicated bath basically will help kill bacteria or yeast that's gonna be on her skin. I'm sure there is, because I can smell it. She smells terrible. And bulldogs have all these little folds. You have to make sure to get them clean. She has a ton of folds back here on her rear end. All this loose skin back here. So I'm just gonna clean out all these folds and make sure to really get that medicated shampoo in there. Got her all lathered up now. We let this sit for a while on her skin to so hopefully kill that bacteria. She's got little scrapes all over her body. Some right there. This is kind of a big bloody scrape over here. I thought it was just brown hair, but once we got it all uh, cleaned up, just a big scab there all over her head and her face here. The little scrapes. Her other side is a little bit worse. All scraped up there. Paw down here. So she's been through some stuff for sure. Definitely been neglected for a while. The shelter had her as eight years old, they had estimated. But if you look at her teeth, they're all really clean. Good girl. She's probably anywhere from two years old to four years old. And you don't see a whole lot of English Bulldogs in shelters because usually people have to pay anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000 for them. You have to get them from a breeder. Um, so to end up in a shelter is pretty weird. Someone must have uh, really just not given um, a care about her and either let her go or gave her up. But pretty strange. We're going to make sure the rest of her life is a lot better than the first part of her life. It's been about two and a half weeks since we first got her. Her hair is really coming back in. You can see she had like no hair back here before. So she's doing really good. Really happy little pup. Show your eye, it's healing up well. It's really nice, not red anymore. So she's starting to look so much better. So Annie has heartworms. We were treating her for heartworms today. We also treated her yesterday. And basically we give her this injection deep into the muscles on her back. Good girl. All right, baby girl. Ready? Hey, Good done. Job. Good girl. Good girl. It has been a little over two months since we first saw old Annie, and she still has a little bit of hair to regrow, but she's looking so much better than when we first saw her. Come here, come here. We got the heartworms all treated, and she actually was just adopted and now has a forever home. So over the next few months, the rest of her hair is going to thicken out, and she should be a totally perfect dog. So thanks for watching, and thanks for supporting what we do here at Vet Ranch, and we will see you guys next time.